Naš Josip će prevoditi, pa može jedan pljesak za njega. Good evening, everybody. Dobro večer svima. Before I begin my talk, prije nego što započnem sa nagovorom, I just want to say that this is one of the most beautiful communities I've ever been to in the world. Želim samo reći da je ovo jedna od najljepših zajednica koje sam bila. Because you could really see the love of God in your hearts. Jer zaista se može vidjeti Božja ljubav u vašim srcima. Yeah, and I'm very honored to be here tonight. Jako sam počašena što sam ovdje večeras. Thank you. There's a war going on that has not ended. Trenutno se vani u svijetu događa rat koji nije završio. And it's the greatest war in all human mankind history. I to je najveći rat u povijesti čovječanstva. And it's against the unborn children. I vodi se protiv nerođene djece. And it's mother and father killing their own children. I otac i majka ubijaju svoje vlastito djete. Mother Teresa of Calcutta said Majka Terezija iz Kalkute je rekla There will never be peace in the world Neće biti mira u svijetu Until there's peace in the womb Dok ne bude mir u utrobi And I know many of you have experienced war in the 90s I znam da su mnogi od vas preživjeli i doživjeli rat 90-ih But now you're experiencing a bigger war in your country Ali trenutno se u našoj zemlji događa još veći rat Your generation is being aborted here Cijela naša generacija je se trenutno događa abortus. And we're all called to defend life. I svi smo pozvani na borbu za život. If you are children of the Virgin Mary, ako ste djeca plažene djevice Marije, we're all called svi smo pozvani to defend the life of their little, her little children. Braniti život njene djece. Because it was through Mary, jer je po Mariji, that we have salvation. Imamo spasenje. It was through her courage po njenoj hrabrosti fiat, i njenom fiat neka that we, bude that we have eternal life imamo vječni život and we have salvation imamo spasenje so we must be courageous in these hard times moramo biti hrabri u ovim uh, vremenima we must be bold moramo biti od, odvažni and not be scared to defend the little croatians that have no voice i ne bojati se braniti male hrvate koji nemaju svoj glas and our blessed mother i naša blažena majka called all of you here today sve vas je ovdje pozvala večeras for a special calling zbog posebne stvari she wants you to be little soldiers želi da budete njeni vojnici and her great army i njena velika vojska to end abortion da bi se završio abortus and my story begins in California moja priča počinje u Kaliforniji my parents are Mexican immigrants moji roditelji su Meksikanci imigranti and they went to the United States for a better future i otišli su u SAD zbog bolje budućnosti so as a little girl my father always told me kao mala djevojka otac mi je uvijek govorio that to be important or worthy in the United States da biti rođen ili živjeti u Sjedinjenim državama i had to be very successful and success was very important. I da moram biti jako uspješna jer je to jer je to jako bitno u svijetu. I didn't know what virtue was. Nisam znala što je to krepost. Because we never spoke about the things of heaven. Jer nikad nismo pričali o nebeskim stvarima. I didn't know that I was created to be a saint. Nisam znala da sam stvorena da bi postala svetica. I was baptized into the Catholic faith. Krštena sam u katoličkoj crkvi. But we never prayed as a family. Ali nikad kao obitelj nismo molili. My mother was very involved in the New Age era. Moja majka je bila jako uključena u New Age prakse. But it was during my catechism. Ali tijekom moj, mog katekizma. That I learned about Jesus and Mary. Saznala sam i naučila o Isusu i Mariji. And I grew to love God the Father very much. I jako sam zavolila Boga Otca. And I would tell my mom, "Mommy, I want to write a love note to God the Father." I govorila bih majci, želim napisati ljubavno pismo Bogu Otcu. But I don't know how to send it to heaven. Ali ne znam kako bi ga poslala u nebo. And one day she bought me a balloon. I onda mi je kupila balon. And I wrote a little love note on a little piece of paper. I na mali komad papira napisala sam malu poruku. And I tied it to the string. Svezala sam za uh, uh, za za vezicu. Uh -huh. And I stood in my backyard and let the balloon go. Bila sam u svom dvorištu i pustila sam balon da odleti. And I waited until it faded into the clouds. I čekala sam dok nije ne, nestao u oblacima. And I believe with my whole heart that God received my love note in heaven. I vjerovala sam svim srcem da je Bog u raju primio moju molitvu. But after I received my holy communion, ali nakon što sam uh, primila uh, prvu pričest, I stopped talking to God. 
prestala sam se obraćati Bogu. And my mom would take me to re- retreats. Mama bi me vodila na duhovne obnove. Where there was witchcraft. Gdje su bila vještičarenja. I used to get my tarot card reading. Uh, čitali bi mi iz tarota. Our palms read. Iz uh, dlana. And um, pretty soon my mom had witches come to our house. I ubrzo su vještice počele dolaziti u našu kuću. And my sister and I would play with the Ouija board every single day after school. Moja sestra ja bi se svaku, svaki dan nakon škole uh, igrali sa uh, vigi pločom, to je zazivanje duhova. And Jesus Christ was never the king of our home. Isus Krist nikad nije bio kralj u našoj kući. Or of our hearts. Ili u našim srcima. And we let the enemy Satan come into our house. Dozvolili smo da neprijatelj Satana uđe u našu kuću. So as a child I didn't know what the virtue of chastity was. Kao dijete nisam znala što je to krepost čistoće. I didn't know that my virginity was a treasure. Nisam znala da je moje djevičanstvo blago. And I never dreamed about getting married in a white dress in a church because my parents weren't married by the church. I nikad nisam sanjala o tome da se vjenčam u crkvi u bijeloj haljini jer moji roditelji nikad nisu bili vjenčani u crkvi. So when I was 12 years old. Kad sam imala 12 godina. Back in the 90s. Uh, to je još, bilo još u 90-ima. 1992. 1992. And if you're really good at math, you will know how old I am. I ako ste jako dobro u matematici, značite koliko godina imam. There was no internet, there was no YouTube, no TikTok, no social media. Nije bilo interneta, YouTube-a, TikTok-a, društvenih mreža. So I didn't know what sex was or abortion was. Nisam znala ni što je to seks, ni što je to abortus. And the abortion industry came to my 6th grade class. I uh, industrija abortusa je došla u uh, moj šesti razred. And they gave us a course on safe sex which does not exist. I dali su nam tečaj o sigurnom seksu koji u stvari ne postoji. You see the abortion industry is a blood money market. Uh, vidite, industrija abortusa je u stvari uh, krvava industrija. They're a billion dollar ministry. Uh, to je industrija... Not ministry, uh, an in- industry. Industrija od mili- koja vrijedi milijardu dolara. They need certain amount of abortions every month, like a goal. Svakog, svakog mjeseca moraju uh, postići određeni broj abortusa kao cilj. And they say, ah, since parents aren't educating their children at home about sex. I kažu, budući da roditelji ne odgajaju svoju djecu i ne poučavaju ih o seksu kući. We will be their sexual educators. Mi ćemo biti oni koji će ih o tome podučavati. We will go into the schools. Ići ćemo u škole. And we'll promote a false education called safe sex. I promovirat ćemo uh, lažna učenja koje se zove siguran seks. We will hand out condoms and birth control pills. Davat ćemo kondome i uh, tablete za kontroliranje uh, protiv poroda, da, kont- za kontraceptivne pilule. We'll encourage the little ones to start practicing or to experiment on sex. Da bi mladi počeli eksperimentirati, da bi ih ohrabili u tome da se uključe u seksualne odnose. Safe sex will fail because it, it doesn't exist. Siguran seks će u jednom trenutku sigurno uh, propast jer ne postoji. And we'll have the young girls in a pregnancy crisis. I imat ćemo mlade djevojke koje su trudne. And we'll have them in a few years in our clinics. I za par godina će doći u naše klinike. Because Satan goes after the little ones. Jer Sotona ide za onim najmanjima. Because Satan cannot stand purity. Jer Sotona ne može podnijeti čistoću. And he is after your purity every single day of your life. I svakog dana svakome od nas ide za našom i lovi našu čistoću. How many things do we see on social media or behind a movie or a screen? Koliko stvari vidimo na društvenim mrežama, na našim ekranima, u filmovima? That it's hypersexualized. Koje su hiperseksualizirane. Because he's trying to steal our purity. So we're in a battle all day. Against the enemies of impurity. And that day in school. The abortion industry stole my purity. And my innocence. With their perverted lies. And abortionists came to my school. Kada su oni došli u moju školu. And he spoke about abortion being a woman's right. I pričali su o tome da je abortus uh, ženino pravo. He said it was a woman's body and it was her choice if she finds herself in an unwanted pregnancy. I rekao je da je ženino tijelo uh, njena stvar i njen izbor uh, što napraviti ako se pronađe u neželjenoj trudnoći. And if a woman wants to have an abortion. I ako ž, uh, žena želi imat, uh, počiniti abortus. It's not a man's right. Uh, muškarac nema pravo. He has no right over an abortion. Nema pravo sudjelovati ili reći išta protiv tog abortusa. They showed us how to use birth control. Pokazali su nam kako koristiti kontraceptivne pilule. 
They spoke about masturbation and they said that it was very healthy for us. Govorili su o masturbaciji kako je to jako zdravo za nas. Because they wanted us to be sexually active. Jer su željeli da budemo seksualno aktivni. And the abortion industry knows this. I industrija abortusa ovo zna. That if a woman has one abortion, da ako žena ima počinje jedan abortus, she most likely will have multiple. Najvjerojatnije će imati više njih. Because after each abortion, jer nakon svakog abortusa, a woman's not going to live a virginal a virginal life, a pure pure life. Žena najvjerojatnije neće živjeti čist život. And it's all marketing business. I sve to marketing. And he told us that when a woman was pregnant, i rekao nam je kad je žena trudna, it wasn't truly formed. Dijete zaista nije stvarno oformljeno. Until five months pregnant. Dok nije trudna pet mjeseci. Before that, it was just a clump of cells. Prije toga je samo nakupina stanica. And remember, in the 90s, there was no technology like we have today. I 90-ih nismo imali tehnologiju kao danas. Now we can actually see a baby in 4D. Sada trenutno možemo vidjeti bebu u četiri dimenzije. And we didn't have we didn't we we didn't have a way to investigate the truth. Prije toga nismo imali način kako istražiti jel to istina ili ne. They never spoke about the beauty of motherhood. Nikad nisu pričali o ljepoti majčinstva. They never spoke about the beauty of fatherhood. Nikad nisu pričali o ljepoti očinstva. Or of human life. Ili o ljudskom životu. And they never told us the consequences when you have sex before marriage. I nikad nam nisu pričali o posljedicama seksa prije braka. And when I walked out of school at the age of 12. Kada sam izašla iz škole sa 12 godina. I was pro-abortion. Bila sam za abortus. And I thought that love was sex. I mislila sam da je ljubav jednako seks. In 1992, that same year, i te iste godine 92. was the worst year of my life. Bila najgora, bila je najgora godina mog života. My mom had demonic influence from the New Age. Moja majka zbog demonskih utjeca iz New Agea. And one day she packed her luggage. Jednog dana je spakirala kofere. Went into the living room. Otišla u dnevnu sobu. And told my brothers and sisters and my father and I. Rekla je mojim braći i sestrama, meni i ocu. That she was tired of being a housewife. Da joj je dosta toga da bude domaćica. That she was just a slave. Da je samo rob. Cooking and cleaning all day. Čisti i kuha po cijele dane. And she's throwing her life away. I da trati svoj život zbog toga. And she wasn't doing anything with her life. I nije ništa činila od tog života. Because society tells women today and always. Jer društvo danas govori ženama. That if you're a stay-at-home mother and wife. Jer ako se domaćica koja ostaje kući. You're not doing anything. Ništa ne činite. You're not successful. Niste uspješni. And many women tell me. I mnoge žene mi govore. I don't do anything, I'm just a housewife. Ne činim ništa, samo sam domaćica. But that's a lie. Ali to je laž. Because in the eyes of God. Jer u Božim očima. Taking care of your husband. Brinuti se o svome mužu. And your children. I o svojoj djeci. If that is your vocation. Ako je to tvoj poziv. Will make you a saint. Če te učiniti sveticom. And Satan knows this. I Azotona to zna. So he wants to lie to women constantly from the beginning of time. I cijelo vrijeme od početka vremena laže ženama. And my mom believed these lies. I moja mama je povjerovala ove laži. And she left to live her life. I otišla je živjeti svoj život. So I hated her for many years. Mrzila sam je godinama. And I was very traumatized by my parents' separation. I njihova rastava me jako traumatizirala. I started to pull my hair out as a little girl. Počela sam kao mala djevojka čupat svoju kosu. And I lived with my dad my teenage life. I svoje tineđarske godine živjela sam s ocem. And I was very worldly. I was very materialistic. Bila sam jako svjetovna, materialistična. I wanted to be famous and rich. Htjela sam biti poznata, bogata. I wore very expensive clothes and I cared about what I looked like. Nosila sam jako skupu odjeću i brinula sam o tome kako izgledam. I cared about all the cars that I owned. Razmišljala sam o autima koje imam. And my goal in life was to be somebody important but in the world. I moj cilj je bio biti neko bitan u svijetu. And I met my first boyfriend at the age of 19. S 19 godina upoznala sam svog prvog dečka. Unfortunately, I was not a virgin. And unfortunately, I was not a virgin anymore. Nažalost, više nisam bila djevica. Because the trap that Planned Parenthood set up for us in the sixth grade. Jer zamka koju nam je Planned Parenthood postavio u šestom razredu. It worked because many of my my friends from school. Upalila jer mnoge moje prijateljice iz škole jako rano su izgubile svoje djevičanstvo. I mnoge od njih su već sa 13 godina imale abortuse. I kada sam upoznala svog prvog pravog dečka, više nisam bila djevica. Počeli smo upražnjavati, kolokvijalno rečeno, siguran seks. I nije uspjelo. 
And I was very sick and I took a pregnancy test. Bil osjela sam se jako bolesno i uzela sam uh, test za trudnoću. And when it came out positive, it was not fear, it was panic. I kad je ispalo da je pozitivan, nije se uh, pojavio strah, nego panika. And when I uh, thought of my life, kada sam razmišljala o svom životu, I thought my life was over. Mislila sam da je on gotov. Now pregnant at the age of 19. Trudna sa 19 godina. This is not success. To nije uspjeh. Because I believed that a baby destroyed your dreams. Now I'm going to be that domestic slave. Stuck at home, cleaning and cooking all day. And my, my life is over. But when I called my boyfriend and told him I was pregnant, he was so happy. He said, I will protect you, I will take care of you, and I'm going to take responsibility. Because when a man takes responsibility for his actions, especially when he protects the woman and the baby and the family, that has the power to save a life from abortion. To ima snagu zaštititi život od abortusa. We think abortion is only a woman's issue. Mislimo da je abortus jedino uh, pitanje koje se samo tiče žena. And only a women abort? I samo žene su te koje počinju abortus. I can tell you that there are more men today. Mogu vam reći da je više muškaraca danas. That are scared to be fathers. Koji su uplašeni da budu uh, očevi. Than women scared to be mothers. Nego što je žena uplašena i da budu majke. Because 90% of men abandon their women or they force them to have abortions. Jer gotovo 90% slučajeva muškarci su oni koji ostave žene. And I believe with my whole heart. I vjerujem svim svojim srcem. That if men were like Saint Joseph. Da su muškarci poput Svetog Josipa. Saint Joseph, the savior of the savior. Sveti Josip, spasitelj spasitelja. Because he saved the life of the child Christ twice. Jer je dva put spasio Isusov život. And if every man were to be like him, abortion would not exist. Abortus ne bi postojao. I believe that. Vjerujem u to. And I decided to continue my pregnancy because I felt secure and supported by him. Odlučila sam nastaviti svoju trudnoću jer sam se osjećala sigurno i osjećala sam njegovu potporu. But when I was four months pregnant, my best friends came to my house. Kad sam bila trudna četiri mjeseca, prijateljice su došle u moju kuću. And they started to cry and weep. Počela su plakati i tugovati. And they said, you're making the worst mistake of your life. I rekla su da činim najveću grešku u svom životu. You're not ready to be a mother. Nisi spremna biti majka. And I didn't know I was already a mother. I, iako sam već tada bila majka. Remember what we learned in school? Sjetite se onoga što smo učili u školi. It's not really a baby, it's not formed until you're five months pregnant. Nije beba, niti je bitno, niti je formirano kao, kao osoba dok nije uh, pet, mjeseca, pet mjeseci trudnoća. So you have time to get an abortion, please. I imaš vremena za napraviti abortus, molim te. And again, fear entered my heart, and the root of all abortion is fear. I strah je ušao u moje srce, a korijen svih abortusa je strah. I decided to not tell my boyfriend because he's, he was Mexican and I really believe that Mexicans do not have abortions. I odlučila sam ne reći svome dečku jer je on isto bio Meksikanac i vjerovala sam da, Meksika, da Meksikanci uopće ne čine pobačaj. So I decided to have an abortion and after I would just tell him that I had a loss. Odlučila sam napraviti pobačaj i kasnije mu reći da sam imala spontani. And I would be the same woman I was before I was pregnant. I bila bi ista žena koja sam bila prije pobačaja, prije nego što sam postala uopće trudna. Because society told me that abortion liberates and frees you. Jer društvo mi je reklo da abortus oslobađa i daj nam slobodu. I went in, uh, I, I arrived at the abortion clinic. Došla sam u kliniku za abortuse. When I got out of my car, I felt so much shame. Kada sam uh, ušla u auto, toliko sam se osjećala osramoćena. Even though it's legal in my country. Iako je to legalno u mojoj državi. You feel shame. Osjećate sram. And I walked in and I didn't want to see anybody. Ušla sam unutra i nisam htjela nikoga pogledati, nikoga vidjeti. And I noticed that there was about 30 little girls in the lobby wait, waiting to have their abortions that day. Primijetila sam da je u toj čekaonici bilo 30 uh, maloljetnica, malih cura koje su čekale na abortu s toga dana. There were 13, 14, 15 year old girls. 13, 14 i 15 godina. On a Tuesday morning when they should be at school. Utorak ujutro kad bi trebala biti u školi. 
I asked the receptionist, what are they doing here? They're so young, they should be in school. Pitala sam recepcionerku, što one tu rade? Trebali bi biti u školi, tako su mlade. And then I found out that in the state of California and many states in the US, it is legal for a 13-year-old to have an abortion and her parents would never find out. There has been two cases in California Bila su dva, uh, slučaju u Kaliforniji, where a mother drops her child off at school gdje bi majka ostavila svoje dijete u školi and cannot find their children after school i nakon škole više nije mogla pronaći and these two girls went to have abortions and they actually died Otiš, te dvije djevojke su otišle uh, počiniti abortus i nažalost su umrle and that is legal in my country i to je legalno u mojoj državi it is legal to have an abortion up to the moment of birth legalno je počiniti abortus sve do trenutka rođenja And in the state of California last year, we just legalized infanticide. I u državi Kaliforniji legaliziran je infanticid. So if a baby is born, ako je dijete rođeno, up to 28 days after being born, do 28 dana nakon rođenja, if the mother doesn't want to be a mother anymore, ako majka više ne želi biti majka, or if the father is frustrated because the baby cries too much, ili ako je otac frustriran jer dijete pre, previše plaće, it is legal and it is not a crime to go to the hospital and euthanize a baby to kill the baby. Legalno i nije protuzakonito odnijeti dijete u bolnicu i eutanizirati ga, odnosno ubiti. In the state of Illinois, a u državi Illinois, it is uh, legal to abort until the moment uh, of birth, Legalno je počinit abortus sve do uh, poroda. But if a baby survives the abortion? Ali ako dijete preživi abortus? In Illinois they put him inside of a closet. U Illinoisu ga stave u jedan ormar. And they let them die in comfort. I puštaju ga da umre u ugodnom stanju. By putting a little blanket on them? Za, tako što ga motaju u deku. And they do not feed or give them water. I ne daju im ni vodu ni hranu. And this is happening every day. I to se događa svakog dana. And we are living in the worst times of Herod, worse than Herod. Živimo u razdoblju koji gore od Herodovog. Because Herod persecuted the child Jesus and killed many children in Bethlehem. I jer Herod koji je progonio Isusa i ubio je puno djece zbog toga. But now these unborn children and born children. A sad ova i nerođena i rođena djeca. Are being persecuted by their own parents. Progone ih njihovi vlastiti roditelji. Since Satan cannot kill the child Jesus, budući da Satana nije mogao ubiti dijete Isusa, mm-hmm. he uh, attacks the child Jesus indirectly by attacking our children. Napada dijete Isusa indirektno napadajući našu djecu. And they took me to the operation room. Odveli su me u operacijsku salu. I was very scared. Bila sam jako uplašena. The abortionist walks in, she was a woman. Uh, um, uh, doktor koji je, ko je činio abortus, uh, bila je žena, ušla je unutra. And she said, do not be scared. If this makes you feel better. Rekla je, nemoj se bojati, ako će te ovo učiniti da se, uči, da se osjećaš bolje. I've had an abortion myself. Ja sam sama počinila abortus. I performed two abortions on my daughter last year. Prošle godine sam učinila dva abortusa na svojoj kćerki. And you're going to be okay too. I tebi će sve biti u redu. And this is the solution to your problem. I to je rješenje za tvoj problem. And I trusted her because I thought she was a doctor. Vjerovala sam im samo zato što sam mislila da je ona doktor. After the abortion she lied to me. Nakon abortu sam je lagala. She told me I'd only have cramping and bleeding. Rekla je da ću imat malo grčeva i krvarenja. But she never told me about post-abortion syndrome. Ali nije mi ništa rekla o post-abortivnom sindromu. She never told me the mental damage I would have. Niš, nije mi rekla ništa o uh, um, mentalnim problemima koje ću imati. The emotional damage. Emocionalnim problemima. And the physical damage I would have in my womb. I fizičko moštećenje koje ću imati u svojoj utrobi. And I thought I walked out liberated. Mislila sam da sam izašla oslobođena. But I walked out in bondage. Ali sam izašla vezana lancima. I lied to my boyfriend and told him I lost the pregnancy. Lagala sam svom dečku i rekla sam mu da sam imala spontani pobačaj. And then we both started to suffer post-abortion syndrome. I u tom trenutku smo oboje počeli patiti od post-abortivnog sindroma. I was depressed all the time. Cijelo vrijeme sam bila depresivna. Severe anxiety. Uh, uh, jake tiskobe. I would pull my hair out more. 
Čupala som si još više kosu. I had an eating disorder. Imala sam poremećaj u prehrani. My self-esteem was horrible. Moje samopouzdanje je bilo užasno. I would have nightmares of little children. Cijelo vrijeme sam uh, imala noćne more sa malom djecom. And every time I saw children in public, I felt so guilty. Svaki put kad bi vidjela uh, djecu u javnosti, osjećala bi se jako krivo. And my boyfriend said, I, there's something wrong with me. I dečko mi je rekao, nešto nije u redu s tobom. I felt there's something missing. Osjećala sam kao da nešto nedostaje. I'm really depressed. Da sam, jako sam depresivna. And I don't know why I feel so sad all the time. I ne znam zašto se osjećam toliko tužno cijelo vrijeme. And vrijeme. he would have a, a, a nightmare over and over. I on je cijelo vrijeme isto imao noćne more. And he would see a little girl come up to him. I vidio bi kako mu mala djevojčica prilazi. And say papa, papa. I govorila mi papa, papa, oče, oče. And that would make me feel bad. I zbog toga bi se osjećala loše. And I would tell him it was just a clump of cells. That pregnancy was nothing. Rekla bi mu to ta trudnoća nije bila nešto, to je bila samo nakupina stanica. The abortion industry knew I would be back a second time. Industrija abortusa znala da će se vratiti po drugi put. 65% of women who have one abortion. 65% žena koje počine jedan abortus. Have multiple abortions. Imaju više njih, počine više njih. And men also have multiple abortions. I muškarci isto tako. When they don't live a chaste life. Kada ne žive život u čistoći. And I got pregnant for a second time. Zatrudnila sam drugi puta. And the second time I went to a different clinic. Drugi puta sam otišla u drugu kliniku. Which was Planned Parenthood. Koja je bila Planned Parenthood. The biggest abortion industry in the world. Najveća industrija i kompanija abortusa u svijetu. And after that second abortion my symptoms were worse. Nakon tog drugog abortusa simptomi su se još pogoršali. Every day I would contemplate how I would kill myself. Svaki dan sam razmišljala o tome kako ću se ubiti. I would uh, be angry all the time. Cijelo vrijeme sam bila ljuta. I would cry all the time. Plakala bi. And my boyfriend never found out about the second abortion. Moje dečko nikad nije saznao o drugom abortusu. And his symptoms were getting worse too. A i njegovi simptomi su se pogoršavali. Because all men suffer post-abortion syndrome. Jer svi muškarci isto pate od post-abortivnog sindroma. And I got pregnant for a third time. Zatrunila sam po treći puta. And this time I was really angry and I thought, what is happening? I'm practicing safe sex and it's not working. Ovaj puta sam bila jako ljuta zato što sam misla prakticiran siguran seks što se događa, što nije u redu. And I told my boyfriend I was pregnant. Rekla sam svome dečku da sam trudna. And again he was very excited. I opet je bio pod, jako uzbuđen. And I said no 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 no. Ja sam rekla ne 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 ne. I already have an abortion appointment. Već imam uh, dogovor za abortus. And then he said, but I don't want to have an abortion. I onda on rekao, ali ja ne želim imati abortus. What about me? Što 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 sa mnom? And when he said that, I was so angry at him. Kad je to rekao, bilo sam toliko ljuta na njega. I felt as, he was, as if he was trying to take authority over my body. Osjećao sam kao da želi uzeti autoritet nad mojim tijelom. Like he was trying to take my right away from me. Kao da je htio oduzeti moje pravo. And I said, I don't care what you think. Rekao sam mu, ne zanima me što ti misliš. You have no authority over my body. Ti nemaš autoritet nad mojim tijelom. This is my choice. This is, you have no right. Ovo je moj izbor, ti nemaš nikakvih prava. But what I did in reality, I did take his right away from him. I killed his fatherhood. And he went with me forcefully. He didn't want to go to the abortion appointment. I laid on the table and I said, this is going to be easy. I've done it two times. They turn on the vacuum machine. It's a very powerful machine. Uključili su taj usisavač koji je jako snažna mašina. I closed my eyes. Zatvorila sam svoje oči. I'm not going to cry. Neću plakati. And my heart was literally after each abortion like a stone. I nakon svakog abortusa moje srce je bilo sve više kamena. Because after abortion a woman dies in her heart. Jer nakon abortusa žena umre iz u svome srcu. And during that abortion I felt my boyfriend squeeze my hand very tight. Osjetila sam tijekom toba, tog abortusa da mi je dečko jako stiskao ruku. And when I looked at his face, I kad sam pogledala u njegovo lice, his eyes were full of tears. oči su mu bile pune suza. And his t- tears were just covering my face. I njegove suze su prekrivale cijelo moje lice. And I thought to myself, he's thinking it's the first abortion. I pomislila sam u sebi, on misli da je to prvi abortus. When it's the third abortion in a year and a half. Kada je to treći abortus u godinu i pol. I never thought that I would get pregnant. Nikad nisam mislila da ću zatrudnit. Never thought that I would have an abortion. Nikad nisam mislila da ću počiniti abortus. And a lot of people think it will never happen to them. I puno ljudi misle da se to nikad njima neće dogoditi. But again the scripture says. Ali pismo kaže. My people perish for lack of ignorance. Moj narod gine iz neznanja. 
And after that, I was so miserable and suicidal. I nakon toga sam bila toliko razočarana, suicidalna. I left him and I couldn't be with him anymore. Prekinula sam s njim, ostavila sam ga, nisam ga više mogla podnijeti. Because 92% of couples who have an abortion. Jer 92% parova koji počine abortus. Separate or divorce. U jednom trenutku ili prekinu ili se rastave. If they don't heal that abortion. Ako ne istjele rane tog abortusa. I went to live in a different city to start all over with my life. Otišla sam živjeti u drugi grad samo kako bi započela iz početka cijeli svoj život. In the newspaper I saw that the abortion clinic planned parenthood. I u novinama sam vidjela da klinika za abortuse planned parenthood. Needed a nurse that spoke Spanish and English. Treba medicinsku sestru koja priča engleski i španjolski. I never went to nursing school. Nikad nisam išla u školu za medicinske sestre. But I thought I would apply for a job there because I spoke perfect Spanish. Ali sam mislila da ću se prijaviti tamo za bilo kakav posao budući da pričam španjolski. And when I had my interview with the manager. I kad sam odradila intervju sa svojim menadžerom. She said, Patricia, do you have a problem with abortion? Ona je pitala, imaš li problema sa abortusom? I said, oh, I've been pro-abortion since I was in school in the, in the sixth grade. Rekla sam, o, ja sam za abortus još od kako sam bila u osnovnoj školi u šestom razredu. I have had three abortions myself. Sama sam počinila tri abortusa. She said, this is perfect because this is going to help us get all our girls to their abortion appointment. I ona mi je rekla, ovo to je super zato što će nam to pomoć da se sve ostale cure koje se premišljaju dogovore termin za abortus. Because 95% of the abortion patients jer 95% pacijenata koji dogovore abortus are Mexican women that don't speak any English. Su Meksikanke koji ne pričaju uopće engleski. Which was very shocking to me. Jer je to za mene, to je za mene bilo jako šokantno. But now I know that abortion was created. Ali sada znam da je abortus stvoren. To eliminate minorities like myself. Da bi se uklonile manjine kao što sam ja. So they gave me the job as an illegal nurse. Dali su mi posao kao ilegalna medicinska sestra. With no credentials. Bez bilo kakvih potvrda ili škola. And this is dangerous because I was supposed to assist the abortionist. Jer to je opasno jer ja sam trebala asistirati doktoru koji čini abortus. During uh, the surgeries, the abortion surgeries. Tijekom operacije abortusa. With no experience. Bez ikakvog iskustva. So I started on a Monday. Krenula sam tog ponedeljka. And I get to work and my manager tells me. Došla sam na posao i menadžerica mi je rekla. We, uh, we have uh, 50 abortions a week. Rekla imamo 50 abortusa tjedno. And we need you to convince every one of these girls to make it to their appointment. I trebamo tebe da nagovoriš sve te djevojke da stvarno dođu na svoj dogovor. If you, see, if you see these girls are very scared and don't want to come, you have to do everything that they make it. Ako vidiš da su ona uplašena i možda ne žele doći, moraš učiniti sve u svojoj moći da one dođu. If you see that crying, Ako vidiš da plaću, to je zato što žele da im neko pomogne. And they want more I žele više opcija. But no other but here. Ali ovdje ne postoji ni jedna druga opcija osim abortusa. So you have to their tears. Moraš ignorirati njihove suze. You will not bring a photograph of your cousins and your nephews. Nećeš donijeti ni jednu sliku svojih rođaka ili svojih nečaka. Because if a woman sees a picture of a family, jer ako žena vidi sliku obitelji, we'll lose that abortion. Uh, izgubit ćemo taj abortus. Do you understand? Razumiješ li? You will never use the word baby. Nikad nećeš koristiti riječ beba. Father, mother. Otac, majka. He, she. On, ona or the word fetus ili čak riječ fetus because even the word fetus gives human dignity jer čak i riječ fetus uh, daje uh, daje pričin ljudskog dostojanstva and during the ultrasound i tijekom ultrazvuka the scream must face the abortionist uh, zaslon mora biti okrenut prema doktoru she can never look at the screen djevojka nikad ne smije pogled prema ekranu and i thought this was strange i učinilo mi se da je to malo čudno. And I was confused. Bila sam zbunjena. And she told me to always call it a sack of tissue. Rekla mi je da to uvijek uh, zovem nakupinom stanica. But when I was counseling a 13-year-old girl that was crying. Ali dok sam savjetovala 13-godišnjakinju koja je plakala. I really believed I was helping her. Stvarno sam mislila da joj pomažem. I would say, you are going to suffer in this life. Rekla bi joj, ti ćeš patiti cijeli svoj život. And you're going to bring a child to suffer. I uh, uzrokovat ćeš i da to dijete pati. I, I mislila sam da radim čin milosrđa. 
But then Wednesday came the day that I had to assist the abortionist. Ali onda je došla srijeda i dan kada sam trebala asistirati doktoru pri abortusu. And that's when I saw the truth about abortion. I to je trenutak kad sam vidjela istinu o abortusu. And I want to make a pause here. Želim ovdje pauzirati. Because abortion is ugly. Jer abortus je jako ružan. It's uncomfortable. Jako neugodan. But it's the greatest wound in the blessed Virgin Mary's heart. I to je najveća rana na uh, srcu blažene majke Marije. And we cannot turn a blind eye. I ne možemo okrenuti uh, pogled od toga. Many people don't want to know and don't want to hear. Puno ljudi govori da ne žele znati, ne žele slušati. But we have to hear the truth. Ali moramo znati istinu i čuti istinu. And I want to ask you in the name of Jesus Christ. Želim vas zamoliti u ime Isusa Krista. To please tolerate this little part. Da iz tolerirate ovaj mali dio. It's only two minutes. Samo je dvije minute. And Jesus is here. A Isus je ovdje. He's the king of life. On je kralj života. He is the creator of life. On je stvoritelj života. And Jesus weeps at every abortion table on the edge of that table. I Isus kraj svakog stola na kojem se čini abortus plaće. And I want to say something beautiful about the unborn children. I želim reći nešto prekrasno o nerođenoj djeci. So you can have peace. Da bi mogli imati mir. They are the martyrs of our time. Oni su mučenici našeg vremena. And not only are they the martyrs, but they're the martyrs of the martyrs. Ne samo da su mučenici, nego oni su mučenici mučenika. Because they're martyred by their own parents. Jer su mučeni od strane svojih roditelja. So when you see uh, an image of Jesus Christ on the cross. Kada vidite sliku Isusa na križu. And his agonizing face. I njegovo lice u agoniji. The creatures that look most like him on the cross. Uh, bića koja mu najviše liče na križu are the little aborted children. Su abortirana djeca. Because they were never born a sin. Jer nikad nisu počinili grijeha. They were completely faultless. Potpuno su nedužni. Without sin. Bez grijeha. Without condemnation. Bez osude. Just like Jesus. Kao što Isus. And the and they look like him. I liče na njega. So when we hear their martyrdom, kad čujemo njihovo mučeništvo, we honor their life. Uh, častimo njihov život. And they are praying for us today. I oni danas mole za nas. They're in God's glory. Oni su u Božjoj slavi. I walked into work. Uš, došla sam na posao. And the manager took me into her office. Uh, Voditeljica me uvela u svoj ured. And she said, Patricia, today you will assist the abortionist. Rekla mi je, Patricia, danas ćeš uh, uh, asistirati pri abortusu. And all the women who are having an abortion. I sve žene koje imaju abortus. And you will never tell a soul what goes on behind these doors. Nikad nikome u životu nećeš reći što se događa iz zatvorenih vrata. And you will never tell the mothers and the fathers. Nikad nećeš reći majkama i očevima. That after each abortion. Da nakon svakog abortusa. We throw their babies away in the garbage. Da bacamo njihovu djecu u smeće. And I, I didn't understand what she was telling me. Nisam razumjela što mi govori. I took the first 15-year-old girl. Uzela sam prvu 15-godišnjakinju. She was three months pregnant. Bila je trudna tri mjeseca. And I put her on the operation table and she was crying very much. Stavila sam je na operacijski stol i jako je plakala. The abortionist came in. Uh, doktorica je ušla unutra. And he told me in my ear, time is money. I rekao mi je uho, vrijeme je novac. Each abortion can only last five minutes. Svaki abortus može trajati maksimalno pet minuta. So you're going to be on your feet because we need to do 50 abortions. Bićeš cijelo vrijeme na svojim nogama jer moramo odraditi 50 abortusa. And he sat on uh, the stool in front of the operating table. Sjeo je na stolicu ispred uh, operacijskog stola. And he took out his instruments. Uzeo je svoje instrumente. And this is when I stood behind his shoulder. To je kad sam stajala iza njegovog ramena. It's when the veil was ripped off my eyes. Kao da mi se veo raskinuo ispred očiju. And I could see. Mogla sam vidjeti. An abortion. Abortus. Because I blocked myself during mine. I didn't want to see anything. Jer tijekom svojih sam se blokirala, nisam htjela ništa gledati. I saw many sharp instruments. Vidjela sam puno oštrih instru- instrumenata. I saw a very long needle with anesthesia. Jako dugačku iglu sa anestezijom. Seven injections so she doesn't feel the abortion. It's only for her though. Sedam inekcija da ona ne osjeti abortus, ali to je samo za djevojku. And then he takes out the tip of the vacuum machine, which is a very thin metal bar. I onda uzima a, vrh a, usisavača koji je jako tanka a, metalna cijev. And the tip of the tip is a sharp spear. I vrh tog vrha je a, kao, kao oštro koplje. 
And he uh, basically started the abortion, but it was like he was piercing her womb. I započeo abortus tako što je probio njenu utrobu. And when I stood behind him, everything looked very violent. Kad sam stajala iza njega, sve izgledalo jako nasilno. Because abortion is violence. Jer abortus je jako nasilan. And she was kicking and screaming off the table. I cijelo vrijeme se pokušavala odgurnuti od stola. And all he would do is duck. Like I, hit, lower his head. I, I sve što bi on radio je izmicao glavu da, da ga ne bi udarila nogama. And I thought this is, looks very not dangerous. I'm going, I, I thought he would take the instrument out and stop. E, I budući da je izgledala jako oso, opasno, mislila sam da će izvući instrument i prekinuti. But he couldn't because if any little tissue was left behind. Ali nije mogao jer ako bi bilo koji mali komadić tijela ostao unutra. It, it results in an infection and she can die. Rezultira infekcijom i ona može umrijeti. There have been women and, Bilo, and many, the, the, there have many women died during abortions. Mnoge žene su umrle tijekom abortusa. Because little body parts were left in the womb. Jer su mali komadić tijela ostali u, u utrobi. So he had to make sure that everything was out. Morao je se pobrinuti da je sve vani. So I looking at this thought, wait a minute. He can't see what he's doing. Gledajući ovo, zaključila sam, čekaj malo, on ne može vidjeti što radi. How does he know that he has all the sack of tissue out? Kako zna da je svo tkivo izvukao van? How does he know he's not damaging her womb? Kako zna da ne oštećuje njenu utropu, well, njenu maternicu? Well, the abortionists don't know. Doktor to ne zna. It's a blind man's surgery. To je operacija koju izvodi u stvari slijepac. And they guess. I oni pogađaju, nagađaju. So when the radical feminist kada radikalni feministi say legal abortion, safe abortion kažu da je legalan abortus, siguran abortus that's a lie. To je laž. Because legal or illegal jer legalan ili ilegalan it's the same procedure. Ista je procedura. The abortionist does it with his eyes closed. Uh, doktor kao da ima uh, oči zatvorene. Can you imagine a surgeon zamislite kirurga tell his patient koji govori s ovom pacijentu. Before your heart surgery, let me turn the lights off. Prije nego što započnemo sa operacijom vašeg srca, dajte da prvo ugasimo svjetlo. Let me cover my eyes and take my little sharp instruments. Prekriću svoje oči i uzeću svoje oštre instrumente. And he tells his staff, hey guys, I think we are done. I kaže svojim pomoćnicima, mislim da smo gotovi. I don't know what I'm doing, I can't see, but I think I'm done. Ne znam što sam učinio, niti što radim, ali mislim da smo gotovi. Is that medical care? Jel to medicinska skrb? When they say abortion is medical rights to a woman? Kada kažu da je abortus medicinska skrb i pravo za ženu? Is that medical care? Jel to medicinska skrb? And I had to be the abortionist eyes. I ja sam trebala biti ona koja, koja služi kao oči tog doktora. So I took the bag that was connected to the vacuum. Uzela sam uh, vreću koja je pospojena na taj usisavač. My coworker took me to a hidden room behind the clinic. Uh, kolegica me odvela u skrivenu sobu koja je iza klinike. And she said shut the door because if she goes to the bathroom and sees what we're about to see, then we can get sued. Rekla je zatvori vrata jer ako ta djevojka ode na WC i vidi što radimo, možemo biti tuženi. So in front of me there was a glass dish. Ispred mene je bila jedna staklena posuda. And she said dump the contents into that dish. Rekla je stres sadržaju tu posudu. An abortion has a smell. I abortus ima jedan miris. The first thing I smelled was death. Prvo ono na što me posjetilo je smrt. She took out tweezers. Uzela je pincete. And she started to look. Počela je pretraživati. And to my surprise, she held up to the light a little arm with a hand extended like this. I na svjetlo je uh, izvadila ruku koja je bila ovako ispružena. And she said this is part number one. I rekla je ovo je dio broj jedan. We need five parts of the baby to confirm the abortion was successful. Moramo izvući pet dijelova djeteta da bi mogli reći da je abortus izvršen uspješno. And the first thing that I noticed on the fingertips? I prva stvar što sam shvatila je na vrhovima prstiju. Was the baby's fingerprints. Je bio njihov otisak prsta. And inside of me I started to scream. Iznutra sam počela vrištat. Fingerprints identify us as authentic human beings. Jer otisci prsti u nas identificiraju kao autentičnu osobu, kao autentičnog čovjeka. It makes us uh, different and special. Čini nas posebnim i drugačijim. And she found part number two, which was the other arm. Našla je 
dio broj 2 koji je bila druga ruka. Part number 3 was a little leg. Broj 3 je bila noga. And I could see uh, the details on the little foot. Mogla sam vidjeti detalje na toj nožici. I can see the baby's footprints. Mogla sam vidjeti otiske uh, stopala. The baby's toenails growing. Uh, uh, prste na uh, nokte na prstima. And I, the part that really hurt the most was the baby's head and that was held up to the light. I dio koji naj, najviše zabolio je djetetova glava kad je bila prikazana na tom svjetlu. This baby had eyes, nose and ears. To dijete imalo oči, uši i nos. But the baby had its mouth open as if this baby was screaming and trying to defend himself. Ali imalo je i, i usta otvorena uh, kao da je po, pokušavalo vrištati da se obrani. But this baby could not defend himself and he had no voice. Ali to dijete se nije moglo obraniti niti je imalo glas. And there was nobody there to defend him. I niko nije bio tamo da ga obrani. And only heaven can hear that baby's cries. I samo se nebesa mogla čuti taj, taj krik i, i plač. And right away inside of me I started to scream. I unutar sebe sam počela vrištati. They lied to me and they deceived me. Lagali su mi i obmanuli su me. I did not abort three sacks of tissue. Nisam abortirala tri nakupine tkiva. I aborted three of my own children without knowing. Abortirala sam troje svoje vlastite djece bez da sam znala. And all day at work. I cijelog dana na poslu. It was one step before going to hell. Bio je kao jedan korak do toga da odem u pakao. It's a complete holocaust. To je čisti holokaust. And at the end of the day, there are tw- 25 to 50 babies in a trash can. I na kraju dana tu je 25 do 30 ro djece u kanti za smeće. Women would cry, they would faint. Uh, žene bi plakale, uh, padale bi u nesvijest. They would hemorrhage. Uh, imale bi hemoroide. The, uh, uh, hematome. Yes, and the worst thing that a abortion clinic can do I najgora stvar koju uh, klinika za abortus se može učiniti is call an ambulance because the, it would come out in the news. Nazvati ambulantu jer bi to izašlo u vijestima. So we would send them home hemorrhaging to death. I uh, poslali bi kući krvareći do smrti. And so I realized right away that this industry does not care about women or children. Uh, I shvatila sam da ova industrija uopće ne brine ni o ženama ni o djeci. And every time I tell my story, I have to remember these images. Svaki put kad pričam svoju priču, moram se prisjetiti tih slika. Why are there so many aborted children in garbage cans around the world? Zašto je toliko uh, abortirane djece u uh, smeć, kantama za smeće diljem svijeta? Because there are, there are many children and many people my age. Zato što je puno djece i puno ljudi mojih godina. They don't know what true love is. Koji ne znaju što je istinska ljubav. The love that sacrifices and waits for marriage. Da je, ko, kakva je to ljubav koja se žrtvuje i koja čeka do braka. If the world were to be chased, da je uh, svijet čist i u čistoći, abortion also wouldn't exist. Abortus ne bi postojao. And it's very sad that these innocent children jako je tužno da ta nevina djeca have to pay a high price with their life moraju plati toliko visoku cijenu svojim životima for all the sexual disorder in the world za sav, uh, seksualni nered koji je u svijetu at the end of the day they are put in a freezer na kraju dana stavljeni su u zamrzivač and they turn to blocks of ice i pretvore se u blok, uh, blokove leda and every month a company comes and throws them out to the dumpsters i svakog mjeseca jednom u mjesecu dođe jedna tvrtka koja ih preuzme i baci u kontejnere because if we throw them away back in the back of the clinic jer ako ih bacimo uh, iza klinike a mother could find her dead child in the garbage. Majka bi mogla naići na svoje mrtvo dijete u smeću. The last day I worked at Planned Parenthood. Zadnji dan kad sam radila u Planned Parenthoodu. I was to assist a girl that was six months pregnant. Trebala sam asistirati djevojci koja je šest mjeseci trudna. With twins. Sa blizancima. And I couldn't do that. Nisam to mogla učiniti. And I ran away horrified. Otišla sam preplašena, prestravljena. And I didn't know who God was. Nisam znala tko je Bog. And the pain was so great in my heart. I bol u mom srcu je bila toliko velika. I turned to cocaine. Da sam se okrenula kokainu. And cocaine would numb the pain in my heart for a little bit. I kokain bi nakratko otupio bol u mom srcu. But when the drug wore off, I needed more. Al kad je prestao otjecaj droge, trebalo mi još više. And I became a drug addict. Postala sam ovisnica o drogi. And I started to smoke crack. Počela sam pušiti crack. And pretty fast I lost everything. I ubrzo sam izgubila sve. And I lost my soul. Ja sam svoju dušu. And I lived as a homeless drug addict on the streets of California. Živjela sam kao beskućnik i ovisnik o drogi na 
ulicama Kalifornije. For three years. Tri godine. And I never looked for my father. I nikad nisam potražila svoga oca. Because my father always taught me that to be worthy and important, you had to have success. Jer otac me uvijek učio da da bi bio bitan moraš postići nekakav uspjeh. And I was ashamed of my life. A ja sam bila postramljena svojim životom. And I felt like a murderer. I osjećala sam se kao ubojica. And I felt I was garbage. I osjećala sam da sam smeća. I lived with the Mexican cartel. Živjela sam sa meksičkim kartelima. I would hide and run from the police. Uh, skrila bi se i bježala od policije. And from so much drugs, my, I weighed about 35 kilos. I od uh, sve te droge uh, težila sam oko 35 kilograma. And the bones would come out of my body, literally. I, I sve kosti su mi se vidjela na tijelu. And I ripped all my hair out. I had no hair. Nisam uopće imala kosu, su sam si kosu iščupala. And one day I looked at myself in the mirror. Jednog dana sam se pogledala u ogledalo. And when I looked into my eyes, I can only see death. Kad sam pogledala, mogla sam vidjeti samo smrt. I was truly a dead woman walking with no life in me. Bila sam mrtva žena koja voda, hoda okolo, bez života u sebi. And I yelled at myself. I vrištala sam sama na sebe. What happened to that little princess? Što se dogodilo toj maloj princezi? That had a family and had many friends. Koja je imala obitelj i puno prijatelja. That wanted to be somebody in the world. Koja je htjela biti netko u svijetu. Who wanted to be successful. Koja, koja je željela biti uspješna. What happened to you? Što ti se dogodilo? You are a garbage. Ti si smeće. And there's no hope for you. I nema nade za tebe. And one day I was, uh, I was laying on the street. Jednog dana ležala sam na ulici. Completely alone. Potpuno sama. And I hadn't eaten anything for five days. Pet dana nisam ništa pojela. And I had no water. Nisam imala vode. And I thought I was going to die on the streets. Mislao sam da ću umrijeti na ulici. And I questioned my life. I propitivala sam svoj život. What will happen with me? I'm going to die today. Što će se dogoditi sa mnom? Umirem danas. And I started to weep like a child. Počela sam plakati kao dijete. And as I, I was weeping, kako sam plakala? Uh, my memory came back to me. Uh, vratilo mi se jedno sjećanje. And I remembered when I was a little girl. Sjećam se da dok sam bila mala djevojka. After a catechism, Nakon, uh, I would run to crkve, my backyard bi u svoje dvorište, and I would write love notes to God i bi o Bogu, and I would send them to heaven on a balloon. I bi ih u nebo sa balonom, and it's been many years i je puno godina, since I have spoken to God. Od kako sam s Bogom. And when that memory came back Kad mi se to vratilo, for the first time in my life prvi puta u svome životu, I felt God the Father's presence. Osjetila sam prisutnost Boga Oca. And I felt that he was looking down upon me with pity on my soul. Osjetila sam kao da s nebesa gleda na mene i na moju dušu sa žalošću. And I knew that not all was lost. I znala sam da nije sve izgubljeno. And I looked up to the sky after many years. Pogledala sam u nebo nakon mnogo godina. And I started to yell to God. Počela sam vrištati Bogu. I don't know you, but I know that you exist. Ne poznajem te, ali znam da postojiš. I don't have my family, I have no one. Nemam svoju obitelj, nemam nikoga. Uh, you gave me a beautiful childhood. Dao si mi prekrasno djetinstvo. And I've destroyed my life because of the choices that I've made. A ja sam uništila svoj život zbog izbora koje sam donijela. And I want to ask for your pardon. I želim te uh, tražiti oprost. And not even one minute passed. Nije prošla ni jedna minuta. A young waitress ran out of a restaurant. Mlada konobarica istrčala iz restorana. And her name is Bonnie. Njeno ime je Bonnie. And she looked at me with so much love and mercy. Pogledala me s toliko ljubavi i milosrđa. And she smiled at me. Nasmiješila mi se. And she said Jesus loves you. I rekla mi je Isus te voli. Jesus loves you. Isus te voli. I saw you crying on the street. Vidjela sam te kako plačeš na ulici. And I started to pray for you. Počela sam moliti za tebe. And God told me to tell you I Bog mi je rekao da ti kažem that even if your father or mother shall abandon you da čak i ako te otac i majka za, zaborave that he will never abandon nor forsake you on te nikada neće ostaviti and he will be with you until the end of time i bit će s tobom sve do kraja vremena and everything that you've done i sve što si učinila he forgives you oprašta ti because Jesus is the king of divine mercy jer Isus je uh, kralj božanskog milosrđa when we repent with our whole heart kad se pokajemo iz svega svoga srca because when one little sheep is missing jer kada jedna njegova ovca odluta and there's only 99 sheep a samo je 99 ovaca 
The good shepherd goes out into the dark. Dobri pastir odlazi u tamu. He leaves the 99 behind. Ostavlja ovih 99. And he finds that little lost sheep. I pronalazi tu izgubljenu ovcu. That is trembling and that is scared. Koja drhti, koja je u strahu. And that good shepherd puts that little sheep on his shoulders. Taj dobri pastir stavlja tu ovcu na svoja leđa. And he takes it back to the 99. I vraća je ovih 99. And he rejoices because that little lost sheep was found. I on se on se raduje zato što je ta jedna izgubljena pronađena. And she took me to my father's house. Odvela me nazad gdje moj otac živio. And I was very scared that my dad would be mad at me. Bila sam jako uplašena i mislila sam da će se otac ljutiti na mene. And when he opened the door, kada je otvorio vrata, he saw the apple of his eye, the, his princess. Vidio je uh, zjenicu svoga oka, svoju princezu. Uh, fragile. Krhku. Uh, with no hair. Bez kose. And he started to weep. Počeo je plakati. And I realized the pain that I caused my father. I shvatila sam koliko sam bog, bol uz, prouzrokovala svome ocu. And I begged for his forgiveness. Mola sam ga za oprost. And it was the first time in my life. To je bio prvi put u mome životu. Until today. I sve do danas. That I heard my father say, it's okay. Da mi on rekao, u redu je. I love you. Volim te. Welcome home, my daughter. Dobro došla kući, kćeri. Because every time we sin. Jer svaki put kada zgriješimo. We're those little lost sheep. Mi smo te izgubljene ovce. And through the priest. I po svećeniku. God the Father says, welcome home, my little one, it's okay. Bog nam kaže, dobro došla kući, sve u redu. And my mother um, looked for me. Moja majka me potražila. And she took me to her home and she cared for me. Uh, uzela me svoju kući i brinula se o meni. We forgave each other. Uh, oprostile smo jedna drugoj. And my mother said to me. I majka mi je rekla. I came home, I came back to the Catholic Church. Vratila sam se kući i vratila sam se katoličkoj crkvi. I don't believe in witchcraft anymore. Više ne vjerujem u vještičarenje. And I've been on my knees for three years before the Blessed Sacrament. I zadnje tri godine molim na koljenima pred presvetim sakramentom. Offering every mass and every rosary. No, uh, pri, prikazujem svaku misu i svaku krunicu. Praying and fasting for you. Molim i postim za tebe. And God has given me this miracle. I Bog mi je dao ovo čudo. I thank God for his great divine mercy. Zahvaljujem gospodinu na njegovoj velikoj božansko, velikom božanskom milosrđu. But if it was not for my mother's prayers. Ali da nije bilo molitava moje majke. I would not be here today. Vjerojatno ne bi bila ovdje danas. And I want to tell all the mothers here. I želim reći svim majkama danas ovdje. There are times where you say God you don't hear my prayers. Da postoje vremena kad kažete Bogu ne čuješ moje molitve. I pray and pray for my family and nothing happens. Stalno molim i molim za svoju obitelj ali ništa se ne događa. Please don't doubt your prayers. Molim, molim vas, nemojte sumnjati u svoje molitve. God is faithful. Bog je vjeran. He himself On sam wanted to be born of a virgin želio je biti rođen od strane djevice and have a mother pray for him. i imati majku koja moli za njega. And God does not need intercession. I God does not need intercession. A Bog sam ne treba zagovor. And God has left us his mother i on nam je ostavio svoju majku to be our greatest intercessors of the church. Da, bide, da bude naš najveći zagovornik u crkvi. And my mother took me to confession. Majka me odvela na ispovjed. And mass every single day. I vozila me na misu svakog dana. And it was the power of the sacraments. I bilo je zbog snage sakramenata. That God healed me from so many things. Zbog kojih me Bog ozdravio od tolikih stvari. But the one thing that I could not forgive myself for. Ali jedna stvar koju nisam mogla oprostiti sebi were my abortions. Su bili moji abortusi. Because I saw with my own eyes Jer sam svojim očima vidjela that my children ended up in a trash can. Da su moja djeca završila u kanti za smeće. My hands were stained of innocent blood. Moje ruke su bile zaprljane nevinom krvlju. And my children no longer exist. A moja djeca više nisu postojala. I went to a healing retreat for abortion. Otišla sam na duhovnu obnovu za isciljenje rana abortusa. And Saturday evening God gave me a gift. I u subotu na večer Bog mi je dao dar. When I closed my eyes and started to pray, kad sam zatvorila svoje oči i počela moliti, I saw my three aborted children in front of me. Vidjela sam svoje troje abortirane djece kraj mene. My daughter Mariana, moja kćerka Marijana, my little boy Emmanuel, moj sin Emanuel, and my little girl Rosario. I moja mala djevojčica Rosaria. And they, when they saw me, they yelled out a word that I never thought I would hear. I kad su me vidjela, počele su uh, uh, vrištati riječi koje nikad nisam mislila da ću čuti. Mama. Mama. 
Mama, we love you. Mama, volíme te. We're in God's glory. My sme u Božej slávy. And we're praying for your conversion. I molíme za tvoje obrácenie. And when I saw what they were wearing, keď som videla, čo sú nosili, Jesus told me in my heart. Jesus mi v srdcu rekao. Do you see the little dresses your little girls are wearing? Vidíš li ove ma, ove uh, haljenice koje tvoja djeca nose? The Virgin Mary put those little dresses on them so you could see how beautiful they are. Blažena djevica Marija im je obukla te haljine kako bi ti mogla vidjeti koliko su oni lijepi. Do you see the little clothes that your son is wearing to your, to your taste? Vidiš li kako je tvoj sin obučen baš onako kako ti voliš? Your mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, she knows what you like. Tvoja majka, blažena djevica, zna točno što, što, she, što voliš. She dressed your little boy so you could see how beautiful he is. Obukla ga je tako lijepo da vidiš koliko on prekrasan. Do you see the little bows that your daughters have in their hair? Vidiš li ove uh, male kopče koje ti čerke imaju u kosi? The Virgin Mary combed their little hair and put those little bows in there so you could see how precious all your children are. I blažena djevica je uredila njihovu kosu i stavila ih kako bi ti vidjela koliko su oni prekrasni. Know this, my daughter, Znaj ovo, moja kćeri. That I was victorious over death on the cross. Da sam bio pobjednik na smrću na križu. And your children live in my glory. I tvoja djeca žive u mojoj slavi. And the day that you come to heaven, I dan kada dođeš u raj, you will see them for all eternity. Gledaćeš ih u svu vječnost. And I want to tell many of you women and men, Želim reći svima vama, muškarcima i ženama, that have maybe lost a child uh, through miscarriage, through a loss. Koji ste možda izgub, izgubili dijete kroz spontani pobačaj. Or maybe through an abortion. Ili kroz abortus. That not all is lost. Nije sve izgubljeno. Your children are alive under the care of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Vaša djeca su živa i pod skrbi majke, blažene djevice Marije. She cares for all the unborn children. Ona brine o svojoj narođenoj djeci. So please ask God during adoration. Molim vas da tijekom klanjanja zamolite gospodina to reveal the sex of your baby. Da vam objavi spol vašeg djeteta. You will have a sense, you will know. Imaćete osjećaj, značite. And give them a name. I dajte mu ime. Because the scripture says, Jer pismo kaže, I called you by name before you were born. A zazvao sam te imenom prije nego što si rođen. And it's just a beautiful way to give your children an identity. I to je prekrasan način kako dati svome djetetu identitet. And I was so happy that God was merciful with me. Bila sam toliko sretna što je Bog milosrdan prema meni. But my children also had pity on my soul. Ali zato što su moja djeca žalila nad mojom dušom. And they forgave me too. I oni su mi oprostili. And I was able to forgive myself. I mogla sam oprostiti sama sebi. And I made a promise to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Dala sam obećanje blaženoj djevici Mariji. To the Holy Trinity. Presvetom trojstvu. And to my three children in heaven. I moje troje djece na nebu that I would do reparation for all the damage that I've done. Da ću dati zadovoljštinu za svu štetu koju sam počinila. And, and I know that I'd be persecuted. I znala sam da ću biti progonjena. I know I'd lose family members. Znala sam da ću izgubiti neke članove obitelji. I know I'd be laughed at and judged. Znala sam da ću biti smijavana i osuđivana. But I know now Ali sada znam that our crown of glory is not on earth. Da kruna slave nije na zemlji. That God's will is not easy. Da Božja volja nije jednostavna. And our, eter- and our eternal reward is in heaven. I naša vječna nagrada je na nebesima. I want to please ask. I want to please ask. Želim zamoliti. To do something about the abortion in Croatia. Da učinite nešto po pitanju abortusa u Hrvatskoj. You will be laughed at. Bićete ismijavani. You will be judged. Bićete osuđivani. You will have controversy in your family and friends. Imaćete kontroverze među prijateljima i obitelji. But God will hold us accountable. Ali Bog će nas držati odgovornima. And I feel in my heart i osjećam u svome srcu that on our judgment day da na dan našeg suda God will say to us Bog će nas, nam reći in your generation i cijeloj našoj generaciji when you were created and born kad ste stvoreni i rođeni they were killing, mothers were killing children in their womb. Majke su ubijale djecu u svojoj utrobi. And what did you do for those little ones? Što si ti učinio za te najmanje? Because remember what scripture says. Jer sjećate se što pismo kaže. What you did for these little ones? Što učinite najmanjima? You did it to me. Učinili ste meni. And he will hold us accountable. I držat će nas odgovornima. And I decided to start all over. I započela sam započeti potpuno iz početka. With my purity, my chastity. Sa svojom čistoćom. I had sex with all my ex-boyfriends. Imala sam uh, seks sa svim svojim bivšim dečkima. And they took a little piece of me that did not pertain to them. I imali, u svaki uzeo dio mene koji im nije uh, pri, pripadao. 
So I prayed nine years for my future husband. And I thought to myself, no one will marry me. I u sebi sam misla, nitko me neće oženiti. No man will marry a woman who publicly tells her stories on abortion. Um, Nijedan ni muškarac neće oženiti ženu koja javno priča o svojim abortusima. And I would meet really handsome Catholic men. I upoznavala sam stvarno zgodne katolike. And they liked me. I svidjela sam im se. And they wanted to invite me to dinner or coffee. Htjeli su me pozvati na kavu ili večeru. And they would say, Patricia, well, what do you do for a living? Patricia, što radiš u svom životu za život? And I would say, oh, I'm a public speaker. I rekla bi, oh, ja sam javni govornik. That's amazing. To je odlično. What do you speak on? O čemu pričaš? Oh, my three abortions, my work at Planned Parenthood. Dr- Shh, they never call me again. O mojim tri abortusima rada u Planned Parenthoodu, to je bio kraj, više ne bi nazval. They were horrified. <laughs> Bili bi prestrabljeni. <laughs> And I was very sad, but I knew that if Jesus gave me a good man, bila sam jako tužna, ali znala sam ako Isus da pravog muža, dobrog muža. He would be merciful and courageous. Biće i milosrdan, ali i hrabar. And my uh, Lord gave me my beautiful husband, his name is Ruben Martinez. Bog mi je dao prekraznog muža, zove se Ruben Martinez. He too started all over with his chastity. I on je isto potpuno iz početka krenuo sa svojim životom i čistoćom. He was a womanizer. Bio je ženska roš. He used women and slept with women. Iskorištavao je žena i spavao s njima. And I used to hate him. I prije sam ga mrzila. <laughs> But now uh, he's very pure. We practice chastity in our mar- marriage. Uh, sad je jako čist, prakticiramo čistoću u svom braku. And my husband always says. I moj muž mi uvijek kaže. If I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> ako ja to mogu napraviti, svi to mogu napraviti. And God gave us two little girls. Bog nam je dao dvije uh, male djevojčice. Maria Victoria and Chiara Lumena. Maria Victoria i Chiara, Chiara Lumena. Lumena. And God gave me a family. I Bog mi je dao obitelj. Because God is faithful. Zato što je Bog vjeran. And I have a book that came out. Imam knjigu koja je izašla. A couple of years ago, here, three years ago here in Croatia. Tri godine ovdje u Hrvatskoj. And I've already given my talk in different places. I već sam prije uh, imala govore na, na različitim mjestima. And a lot of people have told me that it has completely changed their soul. Not just su, their life, their soul. Mnogi su mi rekli da je potpuno promijenila njihovu dušu, ne život, nego dušu. My talk here was only 10%. Moj uh, govor ovdje je otprilike 10%. And the book has much more. A knjiga ima puno više toga. And I'll tell you why the book is great. zašto je knjiga sjajna? Because it's not about me. Jer nije o meni. Because I'm a sinner. Jer sam ja grešnik. And I only talked about my sins. I samo pričam o svojim grijesima. But the book is about him. Ali knjiga je o njemu. Because he is great. Jer je on velik. And he is merciful. I on je milosrdan. And he is good. And on je dobar. And it's about his great and divine mercy. I, on, i priča je o njegovoj velikoj božanskom milosrđu. So before uh, we leave, you know, after we leave tonight, our mission starts out there. Nakon što završimo ovdje večeras, naša misija počinje vani. So please remember the unborn children in your prayers. Molim vas, sjetite se nerođene djece u svojim molitvama. But also remember the abortionists in Croatia. Ali sjetite se onih koji rade abortuse doktore u Hrvatskoj. Because they too need prayers. Jer i njima, treba, njima je potrebna molitva. Because if God could do it with me, jer ako je to Bog mogao učiniti meni, He could do it with all those abortion workers too. Može sa svima onima koji rade na abortusima. But please, I want to ask that you take action. Ali molim vas da stvarno napravite nešto. Because this is the biggest crisis of our times. Jer ovo je najveća kriza našeg našeg vremena. And again, I want to thank you for having me here tonight. I želim vam svima zahvaliti ovdje što ste došli. Like I mentioned, this is one of the most beautiful communities I've ever been to. Kao što sam rekla, ovo je jedna od najljepših zajednica u kojoj sam bila. And I promise to pray for all of you and your family members for the rest of my life. I obećajem da ću moliti za sve vas i članove vaših obitelji cijelog svog života. And I ask you that you pray for my family and I because sometimes times are very hard and it's hard for us to persevere in this. I molim vas da i vi molite za mene i za moju obitelj jer ponekad je jako teško, jako je teško ustrajati u ovome. May God bless you. Neka vas gospodin blagoslovi. And thank you so much. And I would really love that you guys give a big applause, not to me at all. I am miserable, but to God and to Our Lady because they deserve all the glory and He is the King of life. Hvala vam puno i želim da date veliki aplauz ne meni nego gospodinu i blaženoj djevici Mariji.